What is up guys, Chris here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own custom Minecraft resource slash texture pack. Now basically this is uh, for version 1.7.9 is the version I'm going to be showing you, but I'm also going to be, uh, this is also going to work for every other version pretty much. Um, there's uh, a few versions a long while back that it won't work for, but the most recent ones it will. I'm pretty sure this is going to work for 1.8. If it does not work for 1.8, I will uh, make a new one. But as of right now, this works, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Oh, I want to leave that up there. Okay, so I already have a folder for you here. Let me just get rid of this and open this up. All right, so I already have a folder here that has my uh, default texture pack in it. This is the stuff you're gonna want to put. Get out of here, buddy. This is the stuff you're gonna want to put into a jar file, not into a folder, into an actual jar file. Uh, this is a text document with a certain amount of code, and I'll show you what's in there really quick. We just gotta switch that to TXT, and then we're gonna open that up. This is the line of code you need. Uh, this will also be in the description. Uh, I'm not really gonna show you guys too much on how to do most of this stuff. I'm just gonna show you a little bit the basics. So you're gonna put this code right here into a text document. Uh, the description, you change this right here inside the quotations to whatever you want. This is just a default texture pack that you can edit as you wish. So that's why that says default. But everything else right here is the same. So we're just going to uh, click out of that. And then you're going to click this so that you rename the text file to MC Meta, and then click enter, it'll change it back to that program file. Now this is the pack right here, this is what you see when you have it on there, that's my avatar for YouTube, if you cannot tell. Uh, basically you're going to uh, be able to find that in your run folder, so let's actually close out of the documents, and we'll open, we'll just leave this part open, my actual texture pack. You're going to go down to the start, you're going to type in run, you're going to go to run, uh, percent apt at a percent. This stuff is pretty basic. Everybody should really know this. And then you're gonna want to go to dot Minecraft folder like that. You're gonna get a bunch of stuff here. You know this stuff might not be there. This is mostly just for uh, my mods that I have installed and stuff like that. Now what you're gonna want to do is you're not gonna want to need any of this. What you're gonna need is the versions folder. And depending on what version of Minecraft you're going to be using to make the texture pack, you go into that version. So we're basing this on 1.79, which is the most current version of Minecraft right now. So we're gonna go into 1.7.9. We're going to open the jar. You do need Renoir or 7-Zip or a program like that. And basically, you're just going to want to copy over this Assets folder. This has everything you need in it uh, that will go into there. So that's basically the overall rundown on how to actually set up your texture pack to be able to be made. And um, you guys won't need to ha uh, you guys won't have to do that because I'm going to provide a Mediafire download link in the description so that you can go download my texture pack right here and then you can edit any of the textures as you please. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to open, open Photoshop and start editing textures. So I have this Photoshop right here. We're just going to allow that to load and open up really quick. Uh, other programs you could use are GIMP, Paint.net. Um, guys, please do not use Paint. Oh my god, it pains me that I even have to say that. Paint does not support transparency, so you're not going to be able to actually edit the textures without having white boxes around everything. You can, however, you can edit the blocks because there's no transparency in blocks, but you can't edit items, armor, stuff like that. Uh, everything else has to be done in a transparency compatible program like Photoshop, Paint.net, or GIMP. I'll leave uh, downloads to all... Uh, all of those in the description. Unfortunately, Photoshop you do have to pay monthly for unless you got other ways around that wink wink. I'm not going to say. Let me get this little virus out of here. All right. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to drag Photoshop over to the side here. If you have Windows 7, you'll be able to do that. I'm going to go into our texture pack, and we're going to go into assets folder. You can also change this pack. .png. Just make sure it stays the same size and it's always a .png, otherwise the file will not work. You don't do anything with pack.mc meta. All you have to do is go into the assets, go into the Minecraft folder, go into the textures folder, and then you have all of these textures right here. What we have here is we have the blocks, color map, effect, entity, environment, font, GUI, items, map, miscellaneous, models, painting, and particle. That's all you need to edit textures. This is not a resource pack, so currently you cannot uh, in this pack that I'm providing you, you cannot edit the sound. Um, I haven't quite figured that one out, but I'm sure there's a tutorial somewhere else on YouTube to teach you how to do that. Um, I've read you have to take the sound files from an older version of Minecraft and put it in there, but I'm not messing around with this. This is just for textures. That's all we really need, unless you're really making like a, a custom map that really needs those. 
But uh, today we're just going to be learning how to make a texture pack. Alright, so we're just going to pick something to do real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and do an item. Uh, yeah, you just scroll through everything. There's tons of them here. Let's go ahead and do a... How about a... How about a... What do we want, what do, we want to do? Let's do... Let's do a stone a stone sword. We're just gonna drag that over into Photoshop, like so, and then we're gonna maximize Photoshop. Now you can see it's really small. We don't want to mess that up in any way, shape, or form. So we're just going to zoom in about two two thousand two thousand. All right. Now you can see we have a giant stone sword here. We're gonna go ahead and use the pencil tool just so we can uh, add it pixel by pixel to it. And I'm just going to turn this bad boy green like so we're going to do everything on the inside green you know you don't have to do this part if you want to practice you can uh, but other than that you know it's gonna be the same amount of steps and stuff like that so uh, yes now we have a green sword so in Photoshop we're gonna go up to file like this we're going to click save as I like to save it into my documents just so I don't get confused you can however save it back into the texture pack but that's a little more risky I'm going to do stonesword.png. We're not going to change the name or anything. We're just going to save it right in there like that. Uh, interlace, we're going to go with none for the PNG options. And then we can close out of Photoshop. We do not need to keep that open. There's no reason to at this point. We still have our texture pack open, however. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go in our documents where or wherever you save that file. Here's my stone.png. I'm going to go ahead and drag that over into my texture pack. Make sure this update mode says add and replace files. You're going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to update the stone sword inside. Now we can open it up and zoom in and check that it is green. Now all we have to do is take this. We can go all the way back to wherever we need to be. Give me by Chris dot zip, which will be my texture pack. Yes, sir. Now to add a texture pack into the game, all you have to do is go back to run and run at percent after at a percent. Go into your dot Minecraft. You're going to go into your resource pack folder. I'm going to go ahead and name this something else, just so I don't get it confused. I'm going to click old, and then we're going to drag in the new texture pack that I've just created. Uh, give me my crystal zip. Drop that into the resource pack folder, and now I'm going to open Minecraft and show you guys that this, in fact, worked. Alright, now that we have Minecraft open, version 1.7.9, this texture pack will work for all 1.7 versions, uh, even some 1.6, I'm pretty sure, and it'll work for everything in the future. We're going to go ahead and go to Options, Resource Packs, and here is the Game by Chris Old. The Game by Chris Zip is already in the Resource Pack folder because I uh, name change added it. Uh, you can change the bottom part to whatever you want in the MC Meta folder crap. All right done now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to open up a world just a creative world that I have here for uh, uh, this is my redstone world alright so as you can see I already did the block of diamond you know I was per uh, not practicing but making sure that this works so I can make this tutorial and I made these diamond uh, blocks with some black on them and I also retextured the, the diamond sword so this is the moment we've all been waiting for oh where is it stone sword right here and as you can see it is now green it looks pretty BA and uh, you know I think I think it looks nice uh, disclaimer though this uh, does not change the effects of the sword you can make the sword uh, you know this is as long as the sword can be but it could be fatter you could be holding anything you know color it and whatnot. Uh, it does not ever change the effects of the sword. It does not change how far it reaches, how uh, close it reaches, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't change a single thing. Uh, just, just a little disclaimer so I don't have people, you know, hating on me and stuff. And if this does not work, make sure you uh, tell me what you think, uh, what your steps were, what problems you're facing, what it says, and I'll try my best to help. And, um, Please uh, don't lash out. Anything that happens to your computer while making the resource pack is not my fault. I'm sorry. I have to say that though, just so uh, I don't get any get in trouble for hurting anybody's computers because I had nothing to do with it. It's fully your choice to make a texture pack and uh, edit the files in Minecraft. I cannot, you know, change if something bad happens. I'm sorry, but that is your fault. Uh, anyways, if this texture pack tutorial worked for you guys. Uh, and you enjoyed, you learned something new, make sure to leave a like, and maybe even subscribe, you know? I make other videos, other Minecraft tutorials, other Minecraft videos on, you know, different diff different stuff in the game, you know, some playthroughs, uh, uh, mini games, you know, I'm just, you know, yeah.
<laughs> Alright, um, yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all later.